Well, well, well. Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to talk about one of the lessons that it's too interesting. And it's, I think, a um, good lesson to be creative, inshallah, my kids. So let's start. So here it's written, or the lessons title is, if I built a house, if I built a house. And this lesson is, a, let's have a look to the lesson. It's two or three pages. See here. And before start reading, we can guess after looking to the pictures here in the three pages that there is a boy and we thought that he's uh, an, uh, an crea a creative boy um and here here i thought uh, he have a discussion with his mother about what he's what he what he wants and we can guess after after what reading the subtitle here jack's dream home jack's dream home we can guess that he is what he's creative and he wants to do something that a normal and what's the meaning of abnormal abnormal means it's out of something out of the ordinary out of the ordinary okay so let's start reading the passage to know more details about what is the jack's dream home and how is this home okay this is start jack is dream home jack is dream home it's written here guys that it's an extract from if i built a house by chris van dustin okay so this is a part a part of the story ish uh, if I built a house, okay? So, Jack is dream home. Before, keep reading, here we have Jack is dream home. Jack is a noun and a dream is a noun. And here, this kind of S is what? The possessive S. The possessive S. Once I want to say something is belonging, is belonging to someone, okay? Or something, sorry, belongs to someone. Something belongs to someone. Someone belongs to someone. We use the possessive S. We use the possessive S here. So, the possessive as here, here we have this a noun and dream is a noun. So the possessive as comes to what? To what? To connect the two nouns together. And it means that this dream belongs to whom? This dream belongs to Jack. This dream belongs to Jack, okay? So Jack's dream home. Jack's dream home. Let's write here. The possessive S comes here to tell us that the 
dream um belongs to Jack. Hey guys. So write down these notes in your notebook. They are very important. Okay. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Wait a minute to just have. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so let's keep reading. Jack in the backyard. Aha, uh -huh. in the backyard. It means the garden, the yard that in your home, whatever, okay? So, sit to his mother. Aha, uh -huh. so, so this woman is his mother. This woman is his mother, and this is Jack. Are they, are they playing? Are they sitting? Are they eating? Are they cooking? Are they having a discussion? Yeah, that's right. They have a discussion. They have a discussion. So we're going to know more about what we what are they talking about. So Jack in the backyard said to his mother, this house is okay. But it's like any other. It's like any other. Aha. So he wants to to create something is incredible, abnormal. He said it's boxy. It here refers to the to the home, refers to the house, refers to the house. Okay, and he is talking about which house, their house, their house, their house. Okay, guys. So it's boxy and boring and basically bland. So he's right now describing the house. This house is boxy, boring, and bland. Boxy, boring, and bland. So here we have boxy, boring, bland, all of them are adjectives, okay? Adjective, they are used to describe the normal house, okay? Adjectives that are to describe the house, okay? So, boxy, it's an adjective. Boring is an adjective. And bland is an adjective. And uh, you know, boxy, it means like a box. Boxy, like a box. Boxy, like a box. Boring, it's not very interesting. Not interesting. Boring, not interesting, okay? So let's write down here the meaning or the, the bo okay, here. Boring, boring, it means not interesting, okay? Not interesting and boxy. It's like a box and bland. Bland, it means what? It means it does not have strong feature. It does not have strong feature. <clears throat> you know that when I have something is boring and it's like any other house and nothing is 
Nothing is unique. Nothing is attractive. Okay, so I'm going to be bored. I'm going to be bored. But he wants to create something or the dream home that he is dreaming to have is out of the ordinary. Out of the ordinary. Okay, so let's see what he's going to plan. It's out all like the house I have planned. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. Aha. Uh -huh. So he is planning to have a dream home. Let's see. In the second paragraph here. We'll start with the basics, right of the bat. Aha. So we'll start with the basics. Let's see what he's going. What are the steps that he's going to follow to have his dream house? Let's see. We'll start. We'll, 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 or we will. We will. It's a contraction of the word will, 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 okay? It's a contraction of the word we, well, write it down in your notebook. So, we'll start with the basics right of the pad. Check out my all-in-one kitchen or mat. My all-in-one kitchen or mat, aha my all in one so let's see you don't have to cook and you don't have to clean ah uh, so this is a creative you don't have to cook and you don't have to clean it's done by a space age it's done by a space age robotic machine uh, so the house it's done with 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 what a very modern a very modern robotic machine a very modern robotic machine very space here yeah, the meaning of Space, age, very modern. So, write down the meaning of space age here one. It's done by a space age reporting machine. It makes all the meals. It makes all the meals and the food is delicious. Uh -huh. So it means that he is so interesting, so interesting about what is about the, uh, the very modern kitchen the very modern kitchen look here at the picture here jack is then sitting here on and here we have the robotic machine very modern reporting machine or a space age robotic machine it can clean look here it has more than one hand here we have a mat or it's um I thought it's a mat, yeah. Uh, and this hand, uh, we have a cup of drink. Um, and here, two hands, they are cleaning. And one for cooking. Uh, one for, 
laying the table um, it's a creative okay so the robotic machine makes all the meals and the food is delicious then it washes and pours away every last dish Masha Allah, it's creative, wallah. And Jack is so clever. So clever boy, he's thinking out of the box. He's thinking out of the box means that he is not a normal boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So that's it for today. Thank you for attending my class for today.